Chapter Four, Part Two. The impediment jinx. This jinx is bound to come in handy. Point your wand, then pull the T button to pull up the glowing words and read the history. Swift use of this jinx can freeze an attacker for a few moments or stop a magical beast in its tracks. The jinx is a vital part of any duelist's arsenal. Being frozen with the jinx does no permanent harm, though if you're caught in an awkward position, it can become quite uncomfortable. It looks like you found a collectible. Well done! It'll be stored in the collectibles chapter, so remember to go and have a look at it later. I think you're ready to learn how to cast the impediment jinx. Turn the page. Time to cast the impediment jinx. Incantation first. Looks like the incantation is a bit tied up. You don't need the severing charm. Just use your wand to get this enchanted illustration moving. Impedimenta. The incantation to freeze your enemies is impedimenta. Got that? Now you speak the incantation for this spell. Three, two, one, go. Uh... Good. Nice and loud. That's the incantation done. Gesture next. To freeze your enemies, perform a straight slash to the left. Handy in the heat of battle. Great. Once more. This time, draw the shape from memory. Great. You can flick this dueling spell towards your foes. Another gnome. Quite the attention seeker. See if you can catch him with the jinx when he's in a funny pose. Almost. Try to use the jinx when he's actually doing something. Hmm, he'd make a rather fine garden feature like that. Splendid. But let's see you freeze him in a new pose. I think someone's been at the butter beer. Charming. He eats his vegetables. That's for sure. Well done. I think you wore him out. He's all for a snooze, no doubt. Well, you made quick work of the impediment, Jinx. Turn the page and let's move on to the next spell. The hardening charm. Advanced stuff, this. Ready? Pull up the text to read about the spell, or turn the page to learn how to cast it. The hardening charm will turn an object into solid stone. This can be surprisingly handy in a tight spot. Of course, most students only ever seem to use this spell to sabotage their fellow students' school bags, or to turn a pumpkin pasty to stone just before someone bites into it. It is unwise to try this unworthy trick on any of your teachers. Miranda makes a good point. Well done! You're building quite a collection of souvenirs. Another note from our cheeky student scribbler. Someone didn't pay much attention in class. A pixie. It'll get up to all kinds of trouble if it's left to itself. Let's have a look at this spell. Flick the tickling charm at the pixie. Super. There you go. Time to learn to cast the spell. Turn the page. We'll learn the incantation first. Pull up the illustration on the page. Duro. 
cast the hardening charm with the incantation Duro. Now you try the incantation. Nice and clearly. Three, two, one. Go. Go. Time for the gesture. Pull up the gesture diagram to finish learning the spell. To cast Duro, first start at the bottom and go straight up, then curve round and down. Good stuff. Can you trace the shape again from memory? Good. Once you've cast the charm, you then flick your wand towards anything you want to harden. Aha! Try your new hardening charm on those paper planes. Get as many as you can. Down she goes! Oh, oh lovely! Superb! Nicely done. Superb. Oh, lovely. Excellent. Down she goes. Splendid shot. Oh, lovely. Down she goes. Another one down. Down she goes. Excellent. Down she goes. Excellent. Another one down. Excellent. Nicely done. Excellent. Time's up. You seem to have mastered the basics. Turn the page to put your new hardening skills to the test. That bewitched picture on the page holds a practice exercise. Point with your wand, then press the T button to pull it up. Ready to go? Here you'll be practicing your new hardening charm. You'll need to move fast. The charm doesn't last forever. Ah, we're back in the Herbology greenhouses. Oh dear, that means there's nifflers about. I think you need to cast the hardening charm. Press triangle if you need a hint. There's one now. Now watch him carefully. The minute he starts to dig, harden the spot with your new spell. He's digging. Cast your hardening charm on that spot. Look at that, not a care in his tiny brain. He just wants to make a mess. Two nifflers. Watch them carefully now. They're digging. Stop them with your hardening charm. Oh, watch it. More unwelcome visitors. Nicely done. That stopped him. Nicely done. More nifflers. Good work. Excellent. Here are some more nifflers. Nicely done. Excellent. Nicely done. Now the other one. I knew they'd be back. Wand at the ready. Now the other one. That's it. Excellent. I knew they'd be back. Wand at the ready. That's it. Now the other one. Nicely done. Nicely done. Great. Now the other one. The 
Bill's nifflers didn't do too much damage. Ten house points. Time to find out how well you did. You've definitely got the hang of this spell. Take ten house points. You've mastered the hardening charm. Turn the page to face this chapter's test, or go back if you want to revise other spells. Ah, looks like this test takes place in a forest. Doesn't seem so scary. You'll be able to handle this. Ah, there won't be anything here that you can't handle. Pull up that glowing picture to begin. Impressive! You've made your way through Chapter 4. Have you worked out which wizarding quality this chapter is hinting at? In this test, you'll be using each of your new spells to find and protect a priceless and dangerous magical item. Succeed, and you'll receive another conundrum to puzzle out. Stay sharp. Hmm... I hope you like the great outdoors. I've always preferred the great indoors myself. Right, here we go. Branches blocking your path, eh? This'll be no match for your wand work. Cut this stuff out of your way. Think. What spell can sever those branches, hmm? Great! That's one gone. Yes! Bravo! Keep it up! Nicely done! Clear us a path. Well, now the book's covered in leaves. Let's see what's under there. Roll up your robe sleeves and get stuck in. Aha! A nest. It looks empty, though. A dragon! Oh dear. That means this nest might be missing a dragon egg. Let's hope the mother doesn't think we've pinched it. Pixies! What are they up to? They're pulling the nest apart! <laughs> Little hooligans. Oh, at least they've left a few pieces of the nest behind, that's something. Ah, our egg. It's fallen out of its nest and into that mud. We can't rescue it until we've rebuilt that nest. First, we'll need to stop the egg sinking. Use one of your spells to make that mud harder. Super! Very good. The start of a new home for the egg. Try the hardening charm to make the mud more solid. The gesture's like a letter D. Marvelous! Lovely. Keep going. Right, let's rebuild the nest. Gather up all those twigs and branches. That's it. Lovely, keep going. I think you'll need to hit the branches more than once to get enough twigs together. Another new piece for the nest. Good. Marvellous! Slowly but surely. You'll need to harden that mud again in a moment. Good. That'll stop the egg sinking for now. Be ready to use the hardening charm again. Marvellous! Lovely. Keep going. Too soon. Finish the nest first, before you summon the egg. All right, that's it. I don't think we need to cut any more. Well done. Bravo, the nest is built. Our little egg has a new home. 
The new nest is finished. Time to retrieve our egg. Oh, oh, the pixies are back. They're just messing about, but if that dragon returns and finds the egg gone, it won't be happy. The egg's sinking again. Use Juro, quick. The egg's sinking. You need to stop it. Use a spell, quick. Ugh. You can't summon it while there are pixies still loose. Use a spell to stop them interfering. Yes, one pixie down. Hurry, get the others. Good. That's another jinxed. Quickly, summon the egg while they can't interfere. Good work. A job well done. Look at that. Home at last. Oh, and here's Mum. A Welsh green, if I'm not very much mistaken. Woo. Well, as you'll know from Care of Magical Creatures class, dragon eggs need extreme heat to hatch. Oh, that wasn't it. Press triangle if you need a clue. <laughs> Here we go. The little fellow's ready to face the world, thanks to your spell-casting efforts. Bless you. Let's make sure we don't bring this one back to the library. You've done a great thing. You saved a baby dragon. Well done. You passed the chapter test. Let's take a look at this chapter's conundrum. Another piece of Miranda's puzzle. There was a young wizard called Morgan, whose boss said, Go capture the Gorgon, the creature's so vile that it might take a while. Use your brain, it's a most useful organ. The Gorgon was fearsome and clever, two things that poor Morgan was never. By staring alone, she could turn men to stone, so they'd have to be statues forever. Morg's friends told him, Think out a plan first. But of all things, he hated to think worst. Don't make such a fuss. I'll just take a truss and trap her before I can be cursed. He tried sneaking up from behind her. But here is a little reminder. The mirror was made as a rear viewing aid. Thus the Gorgon watched Morgan come find her. They stared in the glass. Fiend and Morgan. Four eyes met of man and of Gorgon. With no time to moan, Morg was turned into stone, and he never came back. He was Forgan. What was the Gorgon which Morgan was not? What traits did she have while well, he was a clot? What ought you to be if you would survive? What qualities help you in staying alive? Here's your certificate recording your progress. Pull it up from the book to have a look. Superb show of wand work, 15 house points. That's it, you finished the chapter. Close the book and choose another chapter. <laughs>